During the match, Elliot performed one of the most unique moves ever. Instead of performing the popular punches in the corner spot, he decided to use his own upper body instead. See, I couldn't fight you. If we, if, if the script is I gotta go against you, I'm like, oh nah. With one hour clips. What up, what up, what up? So what up? It's Will Ross. And we're in now. Flex. Hey, hey, back to ladies and gentlemen, another video today. You feel me? 10 most WTF moves in WWE history. Mm hmm. WWE and moves, FTW, most 10. You feel me? Like, dog, that's ridiculous. The fact that I did that like that, no mistakes. Make sure you run up the likes for that. But yeah, we're about to check this out right now, man. There are a lot of moves in WWE that were like, whoa. Yeah, whether hey, they yo. were cringe, whether they were lit, whether they were just like, the question was like, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna check it out right now, man. <laughs> we're gonna check it out. Make sure you run up the likes, man, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, let's get into this one. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. But there have been some iconic moves in WWE history, <laughs> from Sweet Chin music to the Bro. RKO. These moves are truly memorable for all the right reasons. However, Before there are bros. certain moves that leave fans utterly speechless. Either they're completely they inappropriate walk. for a wrestling match, or they look so bad that fans are pulled this out of the- Pulled out the- pulled- pulled his draws out, What kind of draws is he wearing? This is old for a wrestling match, school WWE. They look so WWE bad that fans are pulled yeah, out of the draws. illusion that this is pro wrestling. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WTF moves in WWE. He pulled off the draws. <laughs> like, what are we doing? How's that a move? Like, right. Get your head out of there. What are you doing? <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow uh, us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also, check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Oh, we now have a Hindi channel as well. So if you speak or understand Hindi, check it out. Dang, Number right. 10, Quincy Elliott, Booby Smash. Now, Quincy Elliott is one of the more interesting and unique characters that has surfaced in recent years. Footage of Elliot's matches usually go viral on social media because he performs certain moves that leave There's fans in a in state now. of shock. Take so. for instance when Elliot was <laughs> yeah. wrestling NXT star Scripps on NXT Level Up. Suddenly lips? during the match, Elliot performed one of the most unique moves ever. Instead of performing the popular punches in the corner spot, he decided to use his own upper body instead. See, I couldn't fight you. If we, if, if the script is I gotta go against you, I'm like, oh no. Nah. Mm-mm. <laughs> Can't put your face on me. You can't put nothing in my face. You can't booby smash me. Nah. It's what? I'm not wrestling you, fam. Like, <laughs> just not. I'm taking off that day. That's that's crazy, man. Low low management. Facts. That's instead of his fists, this left fans and the announcers in total disbelief. Bet. Don't blame them. Number nine, Braun Strowman and Ricochet hairbrush attack. The team of Strowman and Ricochet have teamed together a number of times on TV yeah, and house show events, but for one particular match, they have received attention thing. for all the wrong reasons. The duo were wrestling the maximum male models in March of 2023. During the match, Strowman managed to obtain the hairbrush of the male models. <laughs> After using it to comb his beard, Strowman did the unthinkable. The former WWE Universal Champion decided to violently use the hairbrush on his backside as if it was toilet paper. Strowman would then throw the brush back to Ricochet, and Ricochet then proceeded to attack Mansoor with a now, let's say, contaminated oh, item. Done, Number 8, bro. Eva Marie sliced bread. That was real. Eva Marie was never the best wrestler in the world, and she was yeah, without I question so. pushed beyond her ability. During Marie's run in NXT, she would debut her finishing move, the sliced bread. This move has been perfected over the years, and mm -hmm. it's very popular, especially with athletic talents. Yep. However, when Marie performed the move, it legitimately received audible laughs from the crowd. The move <laughs> is supposed to be performed quickly and with yeah. grace, but Marie looked like yeah. she was doing it in bullet time. Oh, it's wow. unclear why WWE decided to give someone who was struggling to perform basic moves yeah, a notable finish of this fluid. nature, but WWE yeah. at one point were adamant on making the former Total Diva star the next big thing. Maybe it's not a slight Number break. seven, Maybe Vito, dress code. In 2006, WWE made the bold decision to re-debut Vito as a cross-dressing man. This, was the thing, this idea bro. came from Vince of and Stephanie McMahon, who randomly came up to Vito backstage and asked him how he'd feel about wearing a dress. No, Vince. Vince's gimmick was atrocious and mainly existed to make McMahon laugh, Vito was incredibly dedicated to the character, and it was even reported that he would stay in character when traveling, with the aim of trying to get the new persona over. But the most infamous thing about this gimmick was, without question, his finishing move, known as the dress code. This move would involve Vito putting his opponent's dress head under his dress so their face would face his crotch. He would then lock in an armbar and make his opponent submit whilst their face was buried in him. This was an interesting move to say that. 
Did you see? Look at this right here. I want you to see something, bro. Sounds like a Vince McMahon thing. Who do you uh, notice in the front row to the left? What? Yeah. This is what we were over here. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what they looking at. Look at him. They don't know what. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't going to say it, but this is exactly what the hell we was watching. Yeah. Some malarkey, bro. And this was Not an interesting move to say on. the least. <clears throat> Work when Vito was wrestling enhancement talents, but the thought of Vito applying the move to a wrestler such as The Undertaker or Batista was simply wrong. Right. Number six, Road Dog Pump Handle Slam with added hump. The road yeah. dog was one of the most popular the stars of the action dog, yeah. For his finishing move, he would use a pump handle power slam. Mm. This move is common in pro wrestling, but road dog's version of the move added a rather inappropriate twist. Just as road dog was getting ready to perform the move, getting in trouble in school. Hump his opponent. On the surface, this is a classic action move, but when the move is analyzed at a deeper level, it's one of the most disturbing finishing moves that has ever existed. So violation. Eugene Horseback the violation from that. The Eugene persona was a controversial character yeah. that debuted in the Ruthless Aggression era. Yeah. The majority of Eugene's moveset was inspired by his favorite wrestlers such as The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mm -hmm. But one particular move certainly wasn't inspired by a WWE legend. In the majority of his matches, Eugene would proceed to mount his opponent and ride them like a horse. If this wasn't bad enough, he would often spank the backside of his opponent to add insult to injury. This was humorous at first, but when Eugene was performing it in every single match, it quickly lost its comedic spark. Number 4. Bastion Booger Trip to the Bat Cave In the summer of 93, yeah. WWE debuted the character of Bastion Booger. This would go down as one of the worst gimmicks in WWE history. This was truly awful. I beg your in damn essence, pardon. Booger's character was an unkept wrestler who loved food. This character Ugh. fell completely flat though. And one of the reasons fans resented the persona was because his finishing move was truly revolting. Booger's finisher was known as a trip to the back cave, as it would see Booger sit down on his opponent with his groin area landing in his opponent's face. This was sold with disgust from the WWE commentary team as they made unflattering comments such as imagine the smell and that is simply horrible. Uh, horrible. Come on, bro. Number 3 Kazani Talula Bella hmm? The WWE debuted their fair share of characters that failed to get over and Kazani is one of them. It's hard to truly define what his character or gimmick was supposed to be, but we're told as an audience that he was from some kind of carnival and Kazani would describe the character as a mix between Jake the Snake Roberts and Doink the Clown. But this did little to generate any interest in the character. Yeah. Kazani only had one singles match on TV as a character when he one. debuted possibly one of the weakest looking finishers ever. Kazani's finisher was supposed to resemble a double arm DDT, but his variation involved in performing a roll through, meaning his opponent simply did a forward roll. When Kazani did this during his match with MVP, fans believed it was botched as there was no reason that the move was going to hurt anyone. Yeah, no, no. The right. reality was that this was Kazani's legitimate finishing move that he'd used in WWE Developmental. Number 2. Viscera, the Visagra. <laughs> the Visagra. Viscera was one of the wrestlers who went through Rest a number peace, of characters man. during his WWE tenure. He was once the 1995 King of the Ring winner and he was once a key part who of the Undertaker's in Ministry of Darkness faction. However, without question, the most notorious gimmick Viscera had was when he became the world's largest love machine. Mm -hmm. During the gimmick, the Viscera character would become overly <laughs> sexualized and some of his moves were changed to accommodate this, this drastic what? gimmick change. One move that was added into his arsenal yeah, was a move known as the Visagra. This move involved a near 500 pound man getting on his opponent's back and no! pumping with the, all his might. Hey, this move was truly insane and it was unbelievable to think that Viscera went from being the Out of there, to humping wrestlers hey, on live TV. Yo! And number one, John Cena, sixth move of Doom. <laughs> During his legendary career in WWE, oh, Cena became notorious wild. for having five moves of Doom. Mm -hmm. Some fans believe that Cena was only able to execute five moves and that's all he ever needed to win notable matches over the likes mm -hmm. of Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Cena would eventually get in on the joke and in 2018 he would debut a move that was literally known as the sixth move of doom. Cena had heavily teased the move in interviews and across social media so fans expected something really special. When Cena eventually performed the move at the Super Showdown pay-per-view in 2018, fans were incredibly disappointed. 
During Cena's tag team match where he teamed with Bobby Lashley to take on Elias and Kevin Owens, Cena began the sixth move of Doom by doing a bizarre cross with his arms and then proceeded to throw a basic worked punch at Elias. Fans were confused as to what was happening and it was clear that Cena was just trolling with the move. The weird thing was that this actually resulted in a pinfall victory for him, which was supposed to make the move look credible but just was looking so bad upon execution that did nothing other than to make fans question what Cena was thinking. The move was supposed to link to a movie that Cena was shooting with Jackie Chan, but this connection was lazily explained and did little to cross promote the movie. But there you have it folks. Dog, he just crossed over and just bow. Yes. Cross bow. That's it. That was that, was that was the move of doom, the sixth move. Oh my god. Hey. The cringe. Hey. We oh, we, we tend to remember things with rose tinted glasses, but everything wasn't always great in WWE. Oh, yeah, of course. Bro. Especially when Vince McMahon thought something was funny. A lot of times, it, it didn't come off as funny. So, yeah. yeah he needs a whole documentary, like a, a for real. <laughs> the mind of Vince. The mind of Vince, yeah, man. Need to study it. But no, nah, man, <laughs> hey, if y'all enjoyed this video, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you run up the likes, subscribe. Which one was the most cringiest in WTF move to you? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you like and share as well. Road to a million. Let's continue to run it up, Lord. You know, let's, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying no more. This shit <laughs> got me visceral pumping people, old dude, riding people like a bull. I don't know what the hell to say. Yeah, catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me